Hey, Kenny, can I talk to you for a second? Mm -hmm. Well, you see, Kenny, I'm a bit nervous. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got to review your brand new game today. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 far from it. In fact, I think it's the funniest game since Cogger's Bad Fur Day, but that's beside the point. I'm nervous because, well, I've never done a video game review before. It's kind of a new field for me on the channel, and I'm just kind of worried that my viewers are going to not like it for this reason or another. You know what, you're right. Why should it matter if I've done a video game review or not? I mean, I have other interests besides Blu-rays and ponies, and I may not be a hardcore gamer, but I'm at least a casual gamer, and... Hey, I like the sound of that. Hey everybody, Official House Chris here, and today I'm going to be reviewing South Park The Stick of Truth. Ubisoft was kind enough to give me an early copy of the game to review, and I cannot wait to discuss it. I'm a big South Park fan, and have been since I was 13, and I'd be lying if I said I was super hyped about this game. I wasn't paying much attention to it when it was originally announced, because, well, let's face it, previous attempts at South Park games haven't been very good. However, what sets this one apart from the others is that Stick of Truth had Trey Parker and Matt Stone heavily involved with the production. However, I lost interest yet again when it took so damn long for the video game to actually come out. With the countless delays that the game went through, it slowly became the Duke Nukem Forever of South Park games. Except that this one was actually good. Speaking of which, let's discuss the game as a whole. As a South Park fan, this game is amazing. It has all the off-color humor that fans like myself have grown to adore over the years, and there are plenty of nods to the longtime fans of the show placed within the game. However, I can't say I would recommend the game to hardcore gamers unless they also happen to be fans. It's a basic RPG, it's fun and addicting, but still a basic formula. My only cons of the game are personal ones. There are quick time events in the game that happen periodically, which is a personal pet peeve of mine, and the controls for the PC keys can be difficult at times. Thankfully, you can plug in an Xbox controller and use that instead. However, despite these cons, it doesn't ruin the game as a whole for me personally, and I don't think it'll ruin it for anyone else either. Overall, I adore this game. If you are a South Park fan, you're in for a real treat with this one. I recommend you purchase it immediately. It's available right now on Xbox 360, PS3, and PC. That's all I have to say. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and please have a wonderful day. Goodbye.